The land inspires me, the vastness of it. Seeing wildlife out grazing on the land, like how beautiful is that? I'm Debbie McCray, and I live in southwestern Saskatchewan, south of Manicota. I've been drawing and experimenting with different mediums for all of my life. Currently, the mediums that I'm using right now, mainly the sculpture with paper mache. I'm also doing some commission with watercolor, a portrait. On my sculptures, I do a wash with acrylics and put in some detail with the eyes and, and different things like that. So that's mainly what I'm using right now. When I first started working with the paper mache, it was just the newspaper clippings and the flour and water and glue. And now I've figured out how to make a paper mache clay and I could get a little more detail with that. And so you can see that in my work, how it's changed a bit. We've had shorthorn cattle, I've done some of that. Black Angus. I really love doing sculptures of longhorn cattle, their personalities and those horns. It's just so fun to do. And then when you get to the final stages of it, the coloring of them is just neat. When I first started with the paper mache, I was painting them more solid so you weren't able to see all the print on them like you do now. What I was realizing, people were thinking, oh, they're made of plastic, you're using a mold or whatever. And uh, I thought, how can I make them be or show that they're actually paper mache? So then I thought, well, instead of just painting them, I'll just do a wash. And so that print will show through. So that's what I did, and I really like that effect. It made me kind of think about our lives, too. With them, you see all the different clippings on them, and some of it is just kind of garbagey stuff, and some of it's a little more meaning to what I put on for a print. And I think that kind of shows what our lives are. As you live, you pick up a lot of baggage. You might not think it, but that kind of stuff stays with us. And I think that's kind of a, a message I'm, I try to get through with my sculptures too. On each one of my sculptures now, I've started putting on a scripture. That's important to me, and uh, I think it's one of the good things that maybe people pick up in their lives. When I look at these sculptures that I've done, I can see maybe they're not perfect, but I think that's okay if you're a, a people watcher. You see a lot of people that maybe don't fit the norm, might have a long neck too, or they're too heavy, or their shoulders are too small, or their legs are too short. When you look at that, the Lord sees beauty in everyone and everything, and. Um, that's okay just not to be perfect. And I hope these sculptures kind of bring that out. This is a portrait I've started of Big Bear. He's a Cree chief. He was arrested to do with the uprising with Louis Riel. And so he was put in change. This portrait that they're having me work from, you can see the chains on him, and he was awaiting to be put in prison. I feel good about how it's coming so far.
When I'm doing his face, you can feel a feeling that's coming out from him. The eyes are really important. They lead to a person's soul. The mediums that I use when I'm painting probably mostly has been watercolor. Uh, I've done some acrylics. Also, I've done a lot of portraits in pencil. Mostly right now, it's probably been watercolor is what I've been doing my portraits in. It's just a really neat medium to use. You kind of layer it, and when you layer it like that, it just brings out, you can bring out so much detail. My inspirations come from all my surroundings. I'm inspired by the snow on the trees and looking out at the hills. The land inspires me, the vastness of it, the quietness of it. Come on. You go out for a walk and you feel relaxed and good. You can walk along the trees on a real quiet day and all of a sudden you can hear the snow just kind of fall. I guess it's the feeling you get from that kind of a thing. It just kind of lifts you up and makes you grateful. And uh, that inspires your artwork. I hope when I do my portraits of people or wildlife or whatever, that they can see a life in it. I just hope that I bring that out, that people can see that. And it, same with my sculptures, they can see a personality in it. That's what I like to bring out in some of my artwork. Are you an artist who's interested in appearing on Max TV Local? Let us know at sastel.com slash local.